quick 10,000 foot overview. What are executive functions in the brain and why do they matter? That's what we'll jump into. Executive functions are um, things that, for lack of a better way to think about it, things that make us uniquely human. It's our ability to do things like process information. It's our ability to do things like focus and pay attention to something, attentional focus. It's things like working memory. As a little bit of a side commercial, I do another session with AccuTrain on the concept of working memory where we dig into that one just a little bit more deeply. The ability to prioritize, the ability to order and sequence and defer gratification, control impulses. This is not a complete list, but these are some of the skills that a student needs in order to be successful in school. Put this way, if, if I have a child that I'm working with who is able to do these things fairly well, appropriate for their age, of course, they're able to defer gratification, they're able to pay attention, um, they're able to prioritize, they're able to consider things like cause and effect, they're going to be pretty successful in my school. Their behaviors are probably going to align pretty successfully, and um, their academic achievement is probably going to be pretty high. Students need competency. They need to be able to do these things. Some researchers refer to these things as soft skills. In reality, they're anything other than soft. These are necessary skills, not just for school, but for life. These are important things that if students can do these, learning becomes easier. These are life skills, these are academic success skills as well. Another way to think about it is when these skills are absent, we notice them. When they're present, they're practically invisible. Meaning when a student is able to focus and defer gratification and prioritize and do some of the things you see listed there on the screen, then life is just a little bit easier, right? The, it, it's, in, in fact, these things are things that are expected of kids and they become invisible, almost practically invisible. We notice them when they're lacking. And here's part of our challenge for those of us who work with kids specifically in the classroom is if we don't know some of these things, if we don't know the role of executive functions in the brain, what we sometimes do is attack will or character or look at behavior and say things like that kid isn't paying attention because he's lazy or that child can't defer gratification because she has bad family or a bad home environment. Right? If we don't realize the power of executive function skills and the, the process of executive function, we sometimes then uh, attack or blame the wrong source. Many of our students, here's one of our takeaways, many of our students are suffering from executive function deficits. And I'll show you how to, how to start supporting those students to develop executive function skills. So when they're present, they're almost invisible. When they're absent, they become a, a significant issue for those of us who work with kids. I issues we have to, to deal with and issues we have to support. So quick definition, take a look at the screen. Here's a quick definition of the concept of an executive function. I mentioned earlier that executive functions are partially what makes us uniquely human. It's all about the processes. The key word you'll see on that slide a couple of times, it's this idea of a process. The process is involved in focusing and working memory and attention and impulse control and cognitive flexibility, problem solving, those kind of things. Those are what uh, researchers and scientists suggest as a broad term are executive function skills. And when we're able to do those, life is pretty good. When those things are absent or I struggle in those areas, life can be a pretty big challenge. Um, so here's your task. Read this slide and um, figure out what three words, based on the quick initial overview I provided for you on executive function, which three words might be most appropriate to go into those blank lines. I'll pause for a moment and allow you to give it a shot. So let's see if you said something like this. In the classroom, executive functions are a set of skills. You could, you, you could put the word skills. You, could, you might also be able to say the word strategies or tool skills, tool strategies that we use to 
organize is probably the best word to go in there. That we used to organize and coordinate information in our heads all while juggling multiple demands or multiple things that demand our attention and our focus. All with the ultimate goal. What's that ultimate goal? Is coming to a conclusion of something or creating something or solving a problem.